For today's video, we're going to be building a internet connection tester using Python. So usually when I'm checking my internet, I go to Google and search up Google. And if it works, and right now it isn't working, that means my internet connection is lost and it's not connected. And if I were to go ahead and turn my Wi-Fi back on, it should be working now. Um, my internet is connected. There we go. It's back. So go ahead and try it. Let's go. My internet is working. So if we want to do this whole process in Python, we'd have to open up Google and try and connect to Google. And if we couldn't connect to Google, that means our internet is not connected. And if we could connect to Google, that means that our internet is functioning properly. So in order to open and navigate URLs, not really navigate, in order to just mainly open URLs in Python, there's a built-in module called URL library or URL lib. So here is the documentation for it. And if you want to learn more about how to open URLs in Python, I'll leave the description for this link below. Um, you can do a ton of things with it. So yeah. Go ahead and do that later if you want. But for this video, we're going to be mainly focusing on URL requests because what we can do with this is just open and read URLs. So if we can try and figure out how to open Google and see what request information it gives us back, we can figure out if we connected to Google or if we couldn't. So I'm just going to open up a text editor to program this out. Wait for it to load. It's kind of slow. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and file, open, open folder. Why not? Go to my desktop. And actually, what we'll go, I have a folder for YouTube. And we can go here, and press new folder and internet internet connection tester and we can select that folder so go ahead and select it and uh while this loads well we're now it's loaded so we can go ahead and create a new file and we can call it whatever you want but i'm going to call it internet i can't type internet connection dot pi and make sure to put the dot pi on the end. It just tells your computer that you're working with a Python file. So now that we've created everything, we can go ahead and start programming away. So as I said, if we want to work with URLs, we need to import the URL library. And we don't want to work with a URL um, package. And we don't want to just work with all of the URL package. We want to just focus on request because with that, we can do everything we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So from URL library, I want to just import requests. Re that's wrong spelling. There we go, requests. So if I were to go ahead, save this and run this, if I imported everything correctly, I should get no errors. And as you can see, we have no errors. So everything is functioning perfectly. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. and. What we're going to do is we're going to create a function to which will test our internet just to make our code a little bit more clean and concise. So I'm just going to call this def test connection. And that's about it. And what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, Google U homepage or Google, Google URL and see what happens. So in order to actually open up URLs, the requests module has a bunch of functions built in for that. So the one to open URLs is called URL open. So we can go ahead and do from the requests um, or just request package or module, we can use the URL open function. And this function takes two parameters, 
One is the URL of Google or the URL of whatever page you're trying to open and put that in strings because a URL is a piece of text. So make sure it's in quotations. And the next parameter it takes, and this is optional, but an optional parameter, but we need to use it because it basically tells without this, it would just keep on trying to open this URL. And if we weren't connected to our um, internet, it would just keep on trying to open Google. And we don't want that because we want to make sure we know when we're connected and we're not connected. And we want we don't want to get into a infinite loop. So we want to put a timeout. So after five seconds of trying to check the internet or trying to check Google, if it doesn't connect, we're just going to leave. So for to save this and print out whatever this uh, URL.open function returns and run this. Oh, nothing's going to happen because I actually forgot to call my function down in the main part of the code. So test connection the function actually needs to be called for anything to happen. So I'll run my script again. And you'll see that it prints out this piece of code, or not really code, just this line. It's where it says http.client.http response object at this long hexadecimal code. And this basically tells us that we are successful in opening Google and uh, the response was found at this line in memory or this location in memory. So um, we don't really need to know all that information. We just basically want to see if we can access the URL. So if I were to um, turn my internet off, let's uh, take a quick look at what happens when we run this. I'm just going to clear my terminal screen and rerun my program. And you'll see that when I'm not connected to the internet, as you can see, I'm not connected right now, I get a bunch of errors. It's just telling me that it's not happy. And unfortunately, I could not get you to where you asked me to get you. So um, what we got to do is put this in a try and an accept block. So we can, instead of giving all of these errors, we can accept the errors and do something with them. So we can go ahead and try and access Google. And if we can't access Google, we can go ahead and print or if, sorry, if you can access Google, we can go ahead and print connected. That was horribly spelled connected to internet exclamation mark and accept any errors if we aren't able to open the URL. So we can go ahead and print connection failed or no internet connection internet connection just give a sad face for extra measure and save this and clear our screen here because it's really messy and see what happens when we run this code so you can see that since we have no connection it tried to access the google url and it gave a bunch of error errors so it accepted those errors and it went ahead and printed no internet connection. So as you can see, it tells us we have no internet connection. And if I were to turn my Wi-Fi back on to make sure I am connected to the internet, which I think I am now, and run my script, it'll tell me that after a little bit of loading, it'll tell me that I'm connected to the internet because right now I am. So that's all you really have to do for this project. And I'll see you guys for my next video Peace.